Hello. And welcome back to Just RP. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are finally going to be starting our getaway driver company again. It's not going to be completely finalized in this video, but I want to kind of give you kind of some of the details as to uh, kind of what I'm doing. Because I know I talked about this, I think, not in the last episode, possibly the one before that. I'm talking about how I'm going to be basically creating a stuntman company. Of course, it's going to be a front for us being able to get hired for to be a getaway driver, to be like a private driver for gangs. You know, obviously drive in convoys if they need, kind of be a protective driver if people need. You know, obviously can be used for jobs, for bank jobs for heist we're basically just going to be drivers that anyone can hire for pretty much almost anything they want if they give us the right amount of money now the front of course for it so we can advertise it legally is going to be a stunt company i already have a website made which i will show later in this video it's also going to be in the description if you guys just want to check it out yourselves and kind of browse the website again it's not completely done since again we're not announcing it i see lee just yet we're still working on it a little bit I mean, a couple we need to do a couple more things before we can announce that i seely completely but i thought i would show you guys a little bit early what i've been working on and kind of some ideas that i've had with the company uh, so this video is going to be pretty much just us uh, kind of going over the idea for the stunt company i had it's also going to be a front for us being getaway drivers hopefully you guys will enjoy this one so starting off i guess we could look at the website but i kind of want to give you guys an overview of uh, what i want the company to be and kind of what i want the rp to be for it so basically, again, as I kind of explained a little bit in the last episode, I believe, or possibly the one before, I think the one before, honestly, I believe I talked a little bit about kind of the something being the front for a company. Basically, people are going to be able to call. Well, we're going to have receptionists at some point or assistants at some point. I'm going to hire probably a bunch of them that are just in town and their numbers will be on the website. People can basically just ring up these receptionists and say, hey, I want to hire a driver for, let's say, a movie shoot. And then obviously the receptionist or the assistant we'll put it down uh in a google doc or something like that again we're still working to get all this done or maybe they'll just text me in city still figuring out exactly how i want that to go down but uh they're basically gonna put somewhere that you know like blink called like uh, let's say billy called his number is this and he wants a driver for a movie something like that and then of course once we get into the city we call them up we say hello you're looking for a driver let's have a meeting and then obviously we have a meeting we figure everything out uh and we obviously do whatever job they want us to do but again all these are going to be legal 100 percent legal jobs Jobs, like uh, driving for people to stand in as racers uh, for doing as stunt doubles for it'll say if someone's filming a movie in the city or a bunch of different things such as even moving like a private chauffeur there's a bunch of things that we're, we're going to be able to get hired for uh, legally but then we are going to have a certain code word or question that basically the buyer or the client will ask to the receptionist or assistant and then of course with some code words which again I'm not going to go into now just in case they get metagamed is basically they're going to be asking the assistant or receptionist a certain question and then the receptionist will respond with an answer and then of course the person calling will respond with okay i'll, I'll, just, I'll just put an example um again this is not going to be it because i don't want it to get meted so let's say i call up our company and i say let's say when since you know the person calls the person the rest receptionist answers like yada 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 how can i help you and then let's say again this is going to be an instance this is not going to be the actual question let's just say um the person on the phone asked are you guys selling any soap and then the receptionist would know that means do you guys have any getaway drivers available and then the receptionist will probably say yes or no and then say what do you need or what kind do you need and then the person will answer with like lavender soap which maybe that means they need a getaway driver for a heist or let's say uh, again i don't know my soaps too well let's say a fruity soap uh might mean something like uh, they need a an immediate pickup like they're in a bad situation they need a driver to come pick them up and get them away safely or maybe a different kind of soap for a different situation kind of just all through code words so if cops you know in the future or any undercover cops call uh they won't be able to obviously know what we're doing or actually be able to put us under any scrutiny uh lawfully so we should be all good with that and it's gonna be also kind of cool to have some code words and have all the receptionists kind of know that and uh the receptionist or assistants i'm just probably going to just pay like per client that calls them up so i'll say you know uh, i'll put your number on the website and we'll put it on yellow pages they'll advertise for us on yellow pages and then every person that calls them and makes a meeting they'll get paid like two thousand dollars or something like that uh, again i'm still working everything out completely and i want to know what you guys think as well in the comment section below now i think we're going to go over to the place that i'm kind of going to be using for our office not really our office but more so if we get someone who wants to uh, do like a getaway driver or want to hire a getaway driver we'll meet them here we'll go over the plan and everything we'll go over the payments and everything there and then uh, of course we will We'll obviously go do the job with the plan that we explained to them again people are going to be able to hire us for just you know 
of driving getaways people are going to be able to hire us to set up a whole plan for them which you know may cost a little bit extra money people are going to be able to hire us if they just want us to drive them around or maybe drive them in the middle of a war to be the kind of war driver or to be driving them out of situations or maybe keep their gang leader and safe just a bunch of stuff like that we're going to have hopefully a lot of uses for the company and i think it's going to be honestly some really good rp and of course i am going to be hiring drivers for it as well although i want to have really really strict testing for these drivers because i want to make sure the people that are getting hired or the people that we're sending out to people are able to you know get away obviously we don't want uh people to be using our service and then getting caught every time we want to make sure our drivers get away like 90 percent of the time or more and uh yeah so we're gonna have to find really really good drivers test them on a bunch of stuff which again will be some fun episodes kind of going through all the tests to see what drivers are actually able to get hired but i think our kind of main hideout for a while is going to be this little repair shop here i believe this is kind of going to be our little spot uh, that we're going to do all our dealings at so we come in here obviously we can park our car so let's park it in here for now let's park it in here and basically people are going to come here and whatever and meet us here and then we're going to probably go over here talk about the plan go over everything and obviously just operate out of this little area i think it really fits the rp just the kind of little uh, warehouse that it is we can keep our car in here um obviously any jobs we do when we finish we'll come back here split everything up go over the plan or go over what happened with the clients i think it's going to be some really really cool rp and then also in the future you know sometimes we might be able to get like an office or something at some point to have our receptionist or other people work here might be definitely interesting thing uh but it's a pretty nice location and another thing that i thought would be really 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 cool is that we can also if people don't want to pay through bank transfers or pay through cash or anything to make sure they can't get tracked they can pay us in bands of notes or rolls of notes and the way they'll do that is basically when i'm not here they'll uh we'll give them a price like maybe you say we pay 50 rolls of notes or we get this amount of cut from the bank heist and what they'll do is they'll come back here they will put let's say let's say this is 50 notes they'll put it into our garbage bin and then they'll text us Saying the drop is hot or the drop is ready or whatever and then we'll come over here we'll drive over we'll go over to the garbage can go in it grab out the bands of notes and boom there's no interaction no way for cops to know anything about it no bank transfers no paper trails no nothing so uh, it's gonna be a pretty cool rp way even if cops really aren't looking into uh bank records at the moment you know they might look into them in the future and maybe trying to see what kind of people are doing see if like some people are, are getting a bunch of money out of nowhere and investigate them so just in case we're gonna be extra safe and either way it's just kind of cool rp to keep it that low key but uh, i think it's gonna be really cool but now i think we're gonna go into the website a little bit so i'll catch you guys once we're over there talking about the website a little bit again i am going to be doing a bunch of rp with this hopefully in the future so make sure to keep up with that i think in the next episode we might actually be hiring some people might be doing some interviews to get receptionists or assistants that again when i'm not in the town they can be answering phones and setting up appointments or setting up uh people that i need to call when i get into the city to call them up obviously and set up uh, whatever they need so i think it should be really cool um again they can probably just send me texts because again you can receive texts offline and then when i get in city i just basically go boom go over to my text and say oh there's billy bob who wants me for a chauffeur for a wedding or whatever oh, okay let me call him up and get this date scheduled stuff like that it's just going to be cool stuff that when we're not in town people are going to be able to call up our receptionist and hopefully uh get a pretty cool answer and uh, actually be able to set up a whole job for whatever they want i think it's gonna be really cool honestly and uh, hopefully it does evolve into some cool rp again i have some really really extensive tests i'm gonna have for our drivers to make sure they're good uh not just at driving but at shooting at um you know just being able to talk their way out of stuff i want the people that we hire to be very competent uh where when people hire us for let's say a heist or something if shit goes wrong i want our drivers to be able to have like a very very wide array of skills that they're going to be able to use to hopefully help our clients get out of it 99 percent of the time or at least as much as we can now again let's go over to the website that i recently made and talk a little bit about that right now Alrighty, so this is the website we're going to be going under five star stuntman i thought it was a, a pretty decent name we got a little logo up here as well so we just have this main page just nothing really here we scroll down we have a little bio going over kind of what the whole idea for was for five star stuntman uh and then also you can get in contact here we're going to have receptionists and assistants have their numbers here and then uh again this is all still a work in progress and then we're also going to say something about how we also post on yellow pages when we do have someone in town to be able 
able to take people's calls so we're going to have people being able to check yellow pages for us as well hopefully again we can get a you know a couple people both in the na and both in the eu time zones to always be on and uh so we always have someone that people can call then obviously if we go over here to the services click on that we have a bunch of services where again this is just going to say some of our legal stuff because of course we're not going to be showing any of the illegal stuff on the website since this is going to be a public website so of course we have down here we have private driver so you can hire us to be a private driver for you you can hire us to be a stunt double for movies and then we also do racing stand-ins and also i mentioned on here that uh that is only through legal legally sanctioned races so technically we don't get into trouble of course people will be able to hire us to do illegal races for them but uh you know we're definitely not going to say that on our website but hopefully it's going to be pretty cool if uh, people start hiring us for stuff like this and can again can really be some cool rp then over here we also have frequently asked questions uh which again look what payment methods do we accept do we accept cash to bank transfer to use vehicles to anything you know we obviously want to work with what people have uh what is your work experience we're going to go through this that we have uh, all our drivers go through a strict and rigid training course which again uh hopefully you guys will see that in one of the upcoming episodes when we're starting to hire some drivers for the service we're going to again start off with just me being the only driver and kind of go on through there as the company builds a uh, reputation and people want to get hired for it we'll see how it goes of course then of course the waiting times and such saying that we can call people and schedule appointments and everything like that again trying to make this site just kind of useful and then also we have some uh, <clears throat> totally legit testimonials i spent a little bit of time on these so if you want to read them and have a laugh feel free to read those as well and that's pretty much it for the website again i really want to make this into something really cool and hopefully you know i know not many people actually do this kind of rp so hopefully it comes out to be something decent but uh, let's go back in game and go over a couple things before we end this video off real quick all righty so back in game um that's gonna be pretty much it honestly for this video i just want to make this quick video and kind of explain the whole basis and idea behind this company now in the next episode or two maybe even three we're going to be probably finding people to hire so there's gonna be a lot of rp in the upcoming episodes we might do some of the testing with people uh, if they want to be drivers we'll do like a whole entire training day episode or a whole entire testing day episode where maybe we get like six or seven applicants and we run them through a series of tests and then maybe one or two of them get to actually be become part of the company again uh, we're going to, have to find people we really trust because of course the receptionists are going to be dealing with the illegal stuff as well so we got to make sure we trust these people got to make sure that you know none of them are snitches none of them are cops so i think it will be really some really cool rp you know vetting everyone maybe hiring some pis to investigate all the people we hire but i think honestly when this thing's all set up in like a week or two hopefully it's going to be set up by then um, I guess you guys will see either way. Hopefully when this video is a week or two old, there's uh, something going or we have most of it set up. I guess we'll see at that point. If you guys are watching this video a week or two old, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully everything worked out. But uh, I guess we'll see either way. I think this can end up to be something really, really cool. And then something else I also wanted to bring up is kind of the second part of this video is I wanted to start a real like racing league uh, or well, underground racing league, of course, but for big money, like for big money stakes or money stakes in general, just money racing. Because honestly, I feel like uh, we might be able to make a little bit of money racing and also to just add it in a Benny's up north. So our favorite track, the Grand Prix now has like a perfect spot because there is a gas station there. There's a Benny's. Actually, you know what? We're going to go head up to Polito i'll show you the spot we're going to probably be conducting most of our starting races um i also want to have like a secret some other secret stuff that again i'm not going to go all into in this video because it will unfortunately get metagamed around the racing scene we're going to have secret code words for different race spots we're going to have uh secret code words for when stuff goes wrong or if there's cops at a certain spot stuff like that we have uh i put a lot of effort into this uh, again you guys won't see all the effort on the illegal side just because again some of the racing stuff can get easily metagamed same with the uh, code word stuff for our assistants and receptionists i have all of it planned out but unfortunately again if i was to tell you in this video we'd get people calling them and using the code words when you know i never even told them i see lee so unfortunately i can't really say that in this video but we're gonna go ahead to Polito, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the racing scene i want to start up so let's go ahead up to Polito, talk a little bit about that Alrighty, so we are up in Polito. 
now again i kind of want to start the racing or most of our races here at least at the beginning because i want this racing league to be something a little different from the kind of normal races that go on in town i want this one to be kind of exclusive in a sense so people are going to be given obviously a secret password for something else for others for something else pretty secret which again can't go into because of meta and unfortunately i really wish i could talk about some of the stuff but uh it would get meta game unfortunately but they'll be given a secret password and then have access to obviously a bunch of different code words for when i tweet out like say i'll tweet out a certain word and then that means to me at a certain spot and then all these races are going to be money races with racers that actually know the races or the racetracks now again we still will be racing uh, obviously with other people as well like public races that are hosted by i believe night kids do a lot of them derek does a lot of them kyle does a lot of them um and those races are with just a bunch of random people and usually not everyone knows all the tracks that we're doing uh, yesterday i was actually running a bunch of tracks with them on stream if you want to go check that out again link is in the description to the twitch page go make sure to check that out as well and, and drop that a follow but uh, we were doing some races last night we got a bunch of random racers and of course we didn't even know the tracks ourselves but this racing league is going to basically be um built up of everyone who knows the tracks and knows like the code words for the tracks so we'll be able to tweet something out get like five or maybe four five six people up here and start racing right away everyone knows the tracks everyone knows the rules everyone's not ramming into each other just kind of a higher echelon of racing for people who you know know how to race and know not to hit other people know how to start properly know not to freaking ram into everyone at the beginning beginning and kind of actually know the racetrack so we have some competitive races and then also probably some big money-ish races i think it's gonna be a lot of fun and of course uh starting up here is the best one this is my favorite track actually grand prix if we load it in real quick i can show you the uh the track real quick so basically of course it starts up here goes down goes down goes through route 68 come tag does a little u-turn up here a little turn up here goes through sandy goes through grape seed then comes back up here and if we do this with three laps it's around a 15 minute track and three laps is probably the best way to do it since uh, it involves the most skill since of course this is such a long track it takes you know a lot of skill and a lot of effort to be able to do it consistently to not hit locals to not hit other racers to not crash so uh, i'm really hoping this is going to be starting up the racing league is mostly going to be this track and as we go on once we get like a big group of people we'll go and spend like a whole day training on one track and then be able to run that as well for money um i think there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna come out of this racing league that's gonna be pretty cool especially if we just keep it to very exclusive like only really good racers for it so we can get some really competitive and really close races i think it can be something really cool and then of course to go along with the gas station up here we also have a brand new bennies i believe that's in here as well so now racers are going to be able to come in here you know fix up their cars don't have to go all the way back into the city and go right back into racing there's of course again a gas station literally right here so they're going to be able to repair their car fill up and then get back into a bunch of races you know crash 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 come back over to the start the hub where everyone hangs out here and then of course be able to come into here get their car repaired everything like that you can even store cars up here there's a garage as well so if people want to store their cars here or store their race cars up here maybe have their normal cars in the city they can do that as well i think it's going to be a really really cool thing once it gets all started which again you hopefully should see in the next couple episodes but i think that's gonna be about it uh for this episode again i know this one was might have been a little boring to some of you but i kind of wanted to explain the whole entire idea for both the business of the stunt driving uh that's going to be honestly a front for the getaway driving as well as kind of the racing league i want to be starting hopefully soon it's going to be really exclusive and again uh, we're going to get a lot of good racers hopefully over time and be able to you know show them different tracks everything like that and uh, you know be able to get some consistent money races with people who know how to race or some even races and hopefully close ones that are a lot more entertaining as as well but if you guys didn't enjoy this video uh in the next couple of videos we're probably going to be hiring people we're going to be getting this company all set up so there might not be a lot of action in the next couple of videos it's going to be mostly focused on getting this business up and running but hopefully you guys who are here for the more uh rp rp things uh will enjoy it as well we're going to be doing a couple meetings probably going to be meeting with possibly some sponsors as well not 100 percent sure but we're definitely going to be hopefully getting some people hired and maybe testing out some drivers and seeing if any of them you know want to actually try and and kind of join the company again it's only going to be really really good racers and obviously people who are really skilled at both driving uh possibly some shooting just you know how to talk themselves out of situations no little uh spots to be able to ditch cops at uh, it's gonna be a lot of good stuff again hopefully you guys will enjoy it but i'm gonna stop rattling on in this video hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you did make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video